Welcome to Backyard Plinky. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. Before I forget, I mean, you still have until the morning of the 25th of December to, you know, if you want to enter to try to win one of the things from uh, the Daisy memorabilia. Probably about noon Eastern uh, U.S. time, we'll uh, go through and you'll be able to see a video where we we'll go through and, uh, and pick the winner. I'll probably spend most of the 24th out here trying to set up the rig that uh, we're going to use to be able to randomly choose somebody. And that should be a lot of fun by itself. All right. So what I want to show you this afternoon is uh, I've been kind of holding out on you a little bit. All right? Remember the six shooter from Daisy? Put six shatter blast shoot one, the other one falls. Well, we might as well use a six shooter to do it with. Now, the one I'm going to show you is um, officially licensed from Colt. Uh, the people that uh, are making these things responsible for them and all that kind of stuff are, yeah, the guys that are trying to be the lead dog, Umarex. Colt Peacemaker, single action. This one shoots pellets. A seven and a half inch barrel on it. It does have the uh, unloader rod on it. The CO2 goes in the handle. Now, they actually have a little tool that is made onto the other other side of the handle cover, but I uh, eh, prefer using an Allen wrench. It just clips back into place. Now, just like the old single action, half cock, gate comes open, revolver spins, that's how you load it. It does have cartridges. These. Now, unlike the Bear River, you know, they had the little membrane that was on the top where you put the BB in and push it down and hold it. Pellets go in at the back. That's where the membrane is that holds them into place. So let's put six in here and see if we can hit something. Now, just like the old ones, it has a fixed front sight and basically no rear sight. It is a groove that is cut into the frame. That's it. I mean, I actually have some revolvers that are uh, modern firearm revolvers that are, uh, one was made in 1939. I have one that's a little bit earlier than that. Same thing. So, I know. Gee, Charles, it's a little close. Well, this thing doesn't have much for sights. It's starting to get a little late. My eyes ain't what they used to be. Who knows, first part of next year, that thing is liable to be right here at the end of the patio. That's six. Now, this thing's a little on the expensive side. And, and as far as the practicality goes, I mean, you know, if you were going to use it to run varmints out of the yard or something like that, maybe not. But it's a load of fun to sit around in, in the afternoons and, you know, just kind of plink with it. Of course, Every time you get ready to load it, you gotta take the cartridges out. But that's all right. That's half of the fun. Now, it does have a safety that's on the bottom. You know, it's a little awkward to try to get your little fingernail in there and get it on safe or get it off, but you know, you gotta, always need to make sure that uh, and be safe with it. 
Colt Single Action Army 45. 1.177 caliber pellets. Humeric strikes again. Huh? Mm. You'll get to see this thing some more. I've got some uh, got some cool ideas and some plans for this thing, and some of the other stuff. I mean, when we when we start next year, um, there's going. I I kind of been collecting some stuff and some material and whatnot. So we're going. Um, build some homemade targets, some reactive stuff, some seat, cheap, it's simple, it's stuff that you can find, probably stuff you got laying around your house. Um, we're going to go back and, and check out some of the different kinds of ammo. I've been kind of collecting stuff and hoarding it and putting it together, uh, different weights of um, pellets and different types of BBs and stuff like that. And, and we'll really get into kind of uh, using them and checking those guys out and see what's going on with them. But, uh, like I said, don't forget, you still got a little bit of time if you want to enter, try to win the easy hat like this or the uh, comic book or even the original replica of the Daisy poster, which actually burned up their whole $2,000 marketing budget for the first year they did it so imagine that but until next time my name is Charles it's been Backyard Blinky I had to load it again